Hi, I'm Chad Bowie from the Holdridge location. Uh, we're going to be going up into the cab and going over some settings for the corn and soybeans on a 70 series combine. So when you get up into your cab, one thing that's great to have is this combine adjustment guide. It's just a nice easy um, slide chart. It gives you all your crops across the top. Gives you some recommended settings, in cab settings. Um, if you do not have one, they can be purchased at your uh, local landmark location. We're going to start out here. We're set up for corn. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is probably set our threshing speed, which depending on the crop conditions, um, you can start out around 300 to 350. So to do that, you would hit this button over here, and that's going to bring up your threshing speed. And as you can see, we're sitting here in a machine that is not running. So our threshing speed is showing zero. But once we engage the machine, we will get a, a number on there. Then what we'll want to do is wrap the machine up and then scroll this dial to get our speed to where we want it. Okay. Uh, the next thing we'll do is our cleaning fan speed, which is this button right here. Once again, it is showing zero with the machine engaged and running and at full throttle we can hit that and adjust our speed and on corn we're probably going to start out somewhere around 1150 or 1200. Uh, the next step that I go to is my concave clearance which is this button right here and we can see we're on 23. Um, most of the time on corn I like to scroll up and maybe start on around 28. The best thing to do here is after you've harvested a little bit is get out. If you take a metric wrench and slide it over the cob, that'll give you a real good idea of what size of cob you have. Uh, the next step would be my chaffer. Hit that and on corn I like to start that out at about probably 18. And then the next step would be my sieve. I like to start it at about about eight or seven. Once again, these are just some recommended settings for corn. Uh, once we harvest a little bit, obviously we want to get out. We want to check our samples and uh, grain tank samples, ground, all the above, and adjust settings accordingly. Okay, so we just went through some uh, rough in cab corn settings. Now we're going to talk about if we switch over to soybeans. So on our slide rule, we'll just slide it over, get our green dot on our soybeans, and once again, we got some recommendations on where to set our machine for soybeans. So we're in the 70 series, so we're going to come over. Um, we're going to scroll our knob over to the combine, and we're going to go to combine setup, and on page two of five, we're going to scroll down to our crop and then we're going to switch that to soybeans. Get our check mark, go back to our home page, and now you can see we, got, we have soybeans on our display. So once again, we'll go to the threshing speed, and we already discussed once you hit that how to set it. We would probably start out somewhere around maybe five, six hundred on that. Then on our cleaning fan, we're probably going to go somewhere around nine hundred to nine fifty. And then on our concave clearance, we're probably going to scroll that down just a little bit to maybe twenty-five or twenty-four. And then our chaffer clearance, probably start that around 16. And our sieve, we're probably going to drop that to 6. And once again, folks, this is just recommended settings. Once we're harvesting, we get the machine full. Uh, we need to stop, check our sample, check the ground, and make adjustments accordingly. If you have any questions on uh, setting up your cab, um, controls, settings, uh, just contact your local landmark location.